Okay, we're going to talk about how to shut down the high voltage system of a Toyota Prius. This is an 04. This body style, this generation was from about 2004 to 2009 or 10. The second step, I know I'm out of order here, is this high voltage plug. And let's at least show you how to get down to it. The first step will be done with the, you know, the key fob in the car. And we'll get there. Okay. So we gotta take a few things out to get down to this high voltage plug. But again, I got this demo mode or model here. So let's go to the key or inside the cab first. I'm gonna get in the car. And I'll just let the door open to see better. To start a Prius, we push the brake pedal, we push the power button. And what I'm really trying to point out is, is the ready light. If the ready light is on, the engine can start up and shut down kind of at will any old time. So you don't want to be changing a belt, doing a water pump. See, there it goes. With the ready light ever on. So the first step in shutting down a hybrid hybrid car or even electric car for that matter is to simply shut the car down, take the fob, don't leave it in the car. Uh, one clinic I went to recommended we take the fob and put it in our toolbox or somewhere uh, away from so someone else couldn't accidentally want to walk up and turn the car on and get mileage or something that a service manager might do. But that's step one. Make sure the ready light is off. Step two, I'm not going to do it to this car, but here's the, here's the little model. The idea is, is you would to, to shut down the high voltage battery, we can actually cut the voltage in half to reduce our potential of getting electrocuted. We'll pull the little safety mechanism up, roll out this lever, and remove the plug. And you wait five minutes, that's step three. So those are the three steps to shut down the high voltage system. Again, take care of the ready light. Make sure the ready light is off and the key fob is at least out of the ignition, maybe you know, further away. Two, disconnect the high voltage plug and three to wait simply five minutes and uh, by then you should be able to work on a water pump, change a belt, do the brakes or something of that nature. When reassembling things the high voltage plug has one little simple step to putting it back together. Of course you pull, plug it back in, swing the lever back up, don't forget to click the safety lock down because the car may not even run if you don't do that little step right there. Okay, to conclude this video, I want to go over here to the, to the bench and simply point out that, yes, there are high voltage gloves that they do have, recommend we have, but again, that's going to be for a different uh, level of shutting down the system, but these, these, other, these rubber gloves are 1,000 volt rated. And uh, this says 5,000 volt. I hate to be around that. And they're only good for so many months. Okay. And we wear leather over them so we don't, by chance, uh, prick a little hole or make a little hole. Because once voltage is, um, once the rubber is pricked or has a hole in it, the, the gloves cannot protect you. Electricity travels the surface, and if there's a little hole, it'll, it'll get you. So that's the high voltage gloves. Actually, there is one more thing to do. And let's go talk about jump starting a Prius. Let's come around to the front. Okay. So to jump start a Prius, because once again, the 12 volt battery is in the trunk of the car. And without the 12 volt battery, if it's dead, if without it being in operation, none of this high voltage stuff can work because it, oh, it uh, closes the relays and allows things to work on the high voltage side. So the 12 volt battery is there 
the radio, the headlights, the relays for everything else in the car. So once again, you can jump start these from the front under the, underneath this fuse panel cover. And you simply find this little red tab. We're going to put the jumper lead there and maybe the ground there. I'll just demonstrate that briefly since we've got it here. I would put my jumper pack cable there and my other jumper pack cable on that strut bolt or maybe somewhere else that looks like a good ground. Okay, but uh, in closing, I uh, just wanted to make a brief introduction to how to shut down a high voltage system so you can at least do say brakes or water pump, change a belt, and how to jump start the Prius.